Hey, what's up guys? I'm here at Bike Connection Agency and we're in the Classified booth. I've got Steven here from Classified and a very interesting product indeed, an internally geared hub for mountain bikes. Steven's gonna give us a little walk through and then we're gonna take it out onto the trails. So let's check it out here at Bike Connection Agency. For the people who are not aware what Classified is, um, Classified is basically a technology or a drivetrain technology, let's say, that multiplies uh, the gears uh, of your cassette. So it's a two-speed hub multiplying, let's say, a 12-speed cassette, giving you 24 gears, uh, which means you do not need a front derailleur anymore. So that technology we bring now to uh, the MTB, um, to the um, 148 hub that we have here on the table, which is basically the standard size for, for any uh, mountain bike on the market. Uh, we combine that with uh, the 1140 cassette, which is a unique design from Classified. It's, um, it's milled out of one uh, monoblock high-grade steel. Uh, 1140 with the reduction ratio of Classified gives us a 530% of, of gear range, which we believe is more than sufficient for the market today. Um, we have also engineered a uh, specific ring shifter to accommodate uh, the setup. On uh, the previous version on the road bike, we still used a shifting button, but obviously it's not gonna work for MTB. So we have a lot of dropper posts and other shifting mechanisms already on the handlebar. So we had to design something quite unique. So we came up with the ring shifter, fully wireless, um, batteries inside, PCB is inside, um, charging ports inside. It's literally plug and play. You can mount it left, right, upside down, uh, any way you wanna use it, you can, you can use it on the handlebar. So um, we're really pleased with this design. It's also the mechanism, the way it works, it's, uh, it's quite unique. So uh, very happy to have this. Um, additional to that, yeah, obviously the, the system, it shifts under full load. So um, it has uh, quite some unique USBs for MTB. So you could uh, really shift three gears at the same time, at any point in time, under full load, uh, when you go up the hill, down the hill, over the transition. So, it's, it's really rethinking the way you're riding. It's rethinking the way you think about your shifting. Uh, and it's in one way creating a new identity, uh, how you're riding your bike and how that bike is actually behaving. When we're talking about the system, obviously you have the uh, full shifting under load. What other performance benefits are you getting from it? Uh, performance benefits is obviously like you're, you're multiplying your gears in a way. So um, you're creating more unique gears, especially with classified when we talk about MTB. Uh, if you take away the extremes, so the extreme chain lines, all the gears in the middle, uh, you would have about 12 unique gears compared to, let's say, eight unique gears on a standard 12-speed uh, cassette, um, which means that you will always uh, or you will start to run a straight to chain line automatically. That straight to chain line obviously starts to give you slightly more uh, efficiency benefits. Uh, combined with the power shift, you could also uh, shift in between those gears um, on, a, on a bigger range, let's say. So you do not, you do not have to shift uh, over every single sprocket, but you can go three sprockets at, at the same time to go up a hill and then shift back to the one to one ratio to go down the hill. So you're spending more of your time in the middle of the cassette where the chain's running straighter yeah, and everything's exactly. a bit more efficient. Exactly. Let's say at Classified we are aware that the way our system works could be beneficial um, for, let's say, frame design and to design a suspension in a way where you could exploit the anti-squat and uh, make, let's say, a frame more beneficial uh, to use in combination with Classified. So you could, let's say, generate possibly more pedal efficiency going up the hill, and you could perhaps get still a very plush suspension with great grip and great traction going down the hill. So for people wanting to fit this kind of a system to their bike, what do they need? Can you fit it to any existing bike? Yeah, you can fit it to any exist existing bike as long as you have a true axle, which is a diameter of 12 millimeters. Uh, we have different lengths of true axles, which uh, accommodate, I think, a wide range of, uh, of frames. Um, the hub itself is a 148 boost, uh, boost, so Super Boost is not yet available, but 148 is totally fine. All our cassettes are compatible with uh, all the systems that we have on the market, so you can go from a 12-speed 1140 up to a 12-speed 1134, all the way down to a 1128, let's say. So you can make a combination according to your needs. And in terms of options for people buying the system, 
Um, you, you've walked me through them already. Can you expl explain those as well? We have uh, three options. So option one is basically our complete wheel set, which includes everything from cassette, all the bits and pieces you need to build up your bike. Option number two is basically a complete kit with hub shell to build your own wheels. And then you can choose straight pool or J-Band, obviously. Uh, and the third option is you would, you would purchase a wheel from one of our respected wheel partners. Um, you would have then a classified ready wheel with an empty hub shell. You would buy all the internals, you put those inside that wheel, and then you complete the system and you also mount that on your bike. A complete wheel set with everything included is 2,699 euros. Uh, a complete hub kit, so with hub shell, I have to lie, but I think it's 1,599 euros and excluding the hub shell is 1,499 euros. I'm uh, very interested to uh, get out onto the trails here at Massa Maritima at the Bike Connection Agency and check it out. Thank you, Stephen. Let's uh, take it out onto the trail. So then, middle of the cassette, in the easy mode of the power shift system. And in terms of hub noise, you can hear it ticking away. Sounds like it's got reasonable engagement, certainly feels like it too. And then in terms of resistance, it certainly doesn't feel quite as free as a conventional hub, which I guess means that when you spin it up, it doesn't spin for quite as long either, but it doesn't seem terrible. And then if we flick it into the faster, harder mode, I assume that's it. And straight away it feels as if that spins a little bit f more freely. Uh, but I guess that's the same. And it is instant. Pedaling as hard as I can. Whoa. There is still a little bit of a I guess between them it's not totally seamlessly smooth but certainly works and you can find that shifter without looking no bother at all so I'm in the hard mode out back right now out gears in the rear. It gets a bit steeper up here, so we'll give it a good test under full load. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah, nice. That's quite impressive. And harder. Feels like it's not quite as instant, perhaps. Easier. Nice. Pretty good. Shame about. The, uh, the bike that it's mounted to for my preferences though. Into the hard mode. Into the easy mode. Oh, that is good for that kind of stuff. Wow, that's amazing actually. I'm very impressed by the shifting. Oh, easier. 
Yeah. And harder. Yeah. Oh, it's addictive. Look this kind of trail. Easier. Yeah. Bit clunky there, but. Oh. All right, so I've enjoyed a few laps here in Massa Maritima on board this uh, interesting, slightly different from the norm that I'd ride, cross-country machine equipped with the classified power shift system. And uh, on a couple of the trails, which have been super undulating, it's been an incredibly uh, promising piece of technology for me. The, uh, the way that you can come into a uh, sudden pinch of a climb, you know, these are on trails that I don't know well at all. I've only ridden them once over a year ago now. Um, so I don't know what to expect. I don't know what's going to be around the next corner. And the quick, like instant gear change that the classified system gives you there, just to flick it down, suddenly you go through what feels to be two or three uh, cogs in the rear cassette worth of gears. Um, at, the, at the flick of a switch just to get you up a steep pinch uh, nice and easily um, and then when you get to the top you flick it back sometimes with the, the flick down of a gear like one easier gear in the rear cassette to match it just until you get up a little bit more speed at the top of a pinch and then you can flick it into a slightly harder gear again with the rear cassette yeah having that technology there having the, uh, the ability there just to flick it so quickly um, so it, it's, it's instant, it feels to be slightly quicker than a good, like well set up, uh, regular geared derailleur system. Uh, and yeah, it's, uh, it's instant, there's no need to let off the power. Occasionally from time to time, uh, especially at slightly lower speeds, you would notice a slight jump as the ratio changes, but it's not like a, uh, an unsure jump. You, you're not worried that it's not going to engage once you get used to the system. It's only just the feeling of the ratio changing. Um, so yeah, I've been thoroughly impressed by the, uh, the performance, by the execution of the system. That shifter there is minimal enough that if you were just looking at the handlebars, just looking at the cockpit, there'd be absolutely no concerns for, uh, yeah, you, you, you wouldn't really uh, immediately tell that there is necessarily uh, an extra gearing system on there. By no means was it problematic. I wasn't missing shifts. Uh, it's with an axis gear system on this bike here, which, you know, yeah, typically they're fairly dependable when they're set up right. It wasn't like it was missing shifts, but certainly the shifting on that rear cassette isn't quite as smooth as the likes of uh, the SRAM cassette that would normally come with the axis shifting or a Shimano Hyperglide Plus. Um, that said, it's not too bad. It's kind of like the shifting was uh, a little while ago, maybe when 11 or 12 speed wide kind of range cassettes first came onto the market. Um, and yeah, certainly not bad enough that I'd be concerned to run it for the long term myself. Um, just, I think Shimano and SRAM really have got those cassettes nailed down and, uh, you know, maybe power shift uh, classified with their power shift system has a little bit of work to do to catch up to the rear cassette but then the internal hub gear is smoother than any uh, derailleur with a cassette that I've tried so yeah you, you kind of have a bit of give and take there and certainly the uh, there's nothing that would put me off kind of wanting to spec this on my own bike as far as I can tell so far certainly it's a really neatly integrated system and one that has a huge amount of potential one I'd be incredibly excited to uh, get onto an enduro bike with a, an appropriate rim uh, laced up to it and to put it to the test to see just how good uh, an enduro bike can be with it on. So yeah, overall, I think certainly it's no small amount of money, don't get me wrong. And it's a slight weight penalty over a regular system, but just the ease of use, uh, the instant shifting has got me really excited for what the future holds for Classified and their power shift technology. Hope you guys have enjoyed checking out this video and getting a little preview on the system. I'm going to be working hard with, with Classified to uh, try and get the system sent to me to put to the test on an enduro bike for the longer term to see how it fares in terms of durability and uh, yeah, overall performance in a more aggressive scenario. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed checking it out and certainly uh, from what I can tell so far, it's a system that I'd, uh, yeah, I think I'd recommend. I hope you guys have enjoyed checking out this video. Do 
give us a subscribe to uh, make sure you don't miss any more of the videos coming from me here at the Bike Connection Agency Mountain Bike Winter Connection event here in Massa Maritima in Tuscany, Italy. Uh, thank you for tuning in guys. I hope to catch you out on the trails, whether it be here in Italy or uh, somewhere a little bit more familiar and close to home in Scotland.